Weather-wise, it's another crap day. It's minus five out. We're supposed to make a high of uh, plus five today. So, still waiting on those 40 degree temperatures, which is supposed to happen any day now. But we want to make the, the, the most, the best use of our time. We just don't want to sit around and watch TV. We want to be creative and we want to be constructive. So, I'll continue with the rocket stove series. The one that I made in the last video of the two is my favorite. I have to make some modifications to the first one. Even though it works well, I want to make some modifications. So, I want to make a third one. And this one I think is going to be even simpler than the first two. And I went out into uh, my material container, my scrap metal container, and I found some pieces and parts I'm going to try to work with. Let me show you what they are. I have this four and a half inch piece of square tubing. I have this, uh, I think it's two by four and a half inch, something like that, tubing. I have this and I have this. Let's get the dimensions on them just in case anybody's interested. Okay, this is a two, two by five, three by four, inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. And it is, like I said, four and a half by four and a half. Okay, now we know. I'm gonna cut these down to what I think might work. I'm going to use this as the feed tube. This will be the uh, the stack, the burn tube, and this will be the air intake. So I have to decide how long I want the stack. So I think I go, I'll go with 15. And in the end, if it doesn't work, we'll go bigger. What else we got to do, right? I mean, for now anyway. So we'll make... The, uh, the stack 15 and the base 15. Maybe even the tube 15 too. We'll see. Okay, we got this 15 inches. This is the stove pipe. Here's the air intake. And uh, what I'm gonna do is where the pipe sits over top, like that of the air intake. I'm going to uh, drill a series of holes here so the air can flow up into the stovepipe. Use a half inch uh, drill bit. You'll see. Okay, this, this might be a little bit of overkill as far as uh, vent holes are concerned, but I got carried away. I wanted to keep drilling. I love the magneto press. It was fun. So, this is how the stack's going to go over top. See that? Over top of those vent holes. And this will be the air, air vent. So now I'm going to cut this piece here at a 45 degree angle. I'm going to break out the evolution for that because it's so cold out I don't even want to use the uh, Metabo. I think I'm going to do it this way. Yeah, something different. 
So I'll cut the 45 degree angle then figure out how, what the length's going to be. Now that I'm looking at this, this air intake might be too long. So I think I'm going to take some more off of this. Because the air has to get in there. I'll have to think about this. Yeah, I decided that I'm going to take uh, some more off of this. And while that's cutting, I think we can cut this too. Okay, that's a lot smaller. Seems a little better. Yeah, that seems better. Get the air in there. Okay, now I'm going to have to go outside in the cold. That chop saw only cut so far through this uh, four inch piece of, piece of square tubing, so I have to go finish it outside because I don't want the dust in here. Even if I had a dust collection system, it's just too small a space. So, yeah, I'll take it outside. I gotta cut a hole in here anyway. Here's the feed tube. Now, how long do we want to make this? Now I have to put a piece of uh, square tubing on the back of this to not only give it balance, but uh, to block the airflow from coming in this way. And then it can only come in this way. Okay, I put this on the wet saw and I cut this to 14 inches because it looks right. Now I'm going to cut uh, a foot off of this square tubing here. And then I'll be back. I'm almost ready to weld. We're going to use the Vulcan, the Harbor Freight Vulcan that has the, the stuck wire feed in it. Now for a hobbyist like me, these are really fun senior citizen winter projects. You can uh, pass the time away, do something creative, and sometimes even invent stuff. A lot of people choose woodworking. I don't know why I got into metal, just not till I was 63, but it's always interested me. So this will be my third rocket stove this week. Okay, here's the piece of square tubing I cut for the back. That's gonna lay flat like that. This is the basic design. Remember we cut all the holes in there. We'll set up the welder.
just uh, information in order to make the welds look decent on these tight spaces like that you have to stack them in there so I made three passes and that that looks pretty good so we'll move on from there Okay, I'm satisfied with that. Okay, here's the bottom, and what I did is because it needs to lay flat, so I just round the welds out on the bottom of it, and then I just tapered the weld here just to make it look good. So we'll, we're not going to do anything else with the other welds, but uh, now we're going to weld the rest of it together. So we're getting there. said it before and I'll say it again don't ever buy this Vulcan wire it doesn't feed right it gets it's all tangled it doesn't work get get a good wire it kept tangling up on this project but we we you know we don't want to waste it so we push through it it was a pain in the ass though but we got it all welded up best we could given the issues and now I want to make a door for this almost done now we'll just trace out our door using a piece of scrap to match it cut it to size getting colder out not warmer colder yeah. see if I can find a hinge now yeah just right okay I think we're ready to weld on the hatch installed now we got to find a little handle for it and then put on the cooktop I found this in the steampunk spare scrap metal container and I'm just going to stick it on just like this because it'll hold it down real nice and when I lift it up 
it'll stop it from banging against the back of it. So this will be perfect, I think. We'll move it up to about there. Yeah. Not another one like it in the world, boys. There now kind of looks like a teapot, especially with the steam coming out the top of that. Heck yeah! And fortunate enough for me, we still have a little bit of this. We got 20, 29 inches left of this flat stock that uh, I used for the last rocket stove. And we'll do the same thing with this one. We're going to put this one, this one on a little differently than we did the last time. See the last time we did that? Now we're going to do that, because it's different. I really want this one to work. I made this one from a picture without any dimensions at all. So, yeah. We'll give it a test in a minute. I want to round off the edges, clean it up a little bit. I was gonna try this at the same location I did the last two demonstrations, but it's so doggone windy. It's so doggone windy that uh, I decided to move the location to right outside my metal shop here. And which it's not as windy here because you can see I deliberately made it that way. It's still windy but not as. So we're going to try this and I hope this one works. I'm, I'm the most proud of this one because it only took me, you know... I think three or four hours, probably about closer to four hours to build. So it went pretty quickly. The welds look good. And like I said, there was no specifications that I could find anywhere for this other than a picture. But I thought it, it was cool. So if it works, I'll, I'll give you the, 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 you know, what I, the size I used. We're going to leave everything set up for now, not putting anything away because I bought this cool handle to weld onto it if it works. If it works, the handle's going on because it is the most portable rocket stove that I'll have. I'm pretty confident it's going to work, so I put it on the welding table. I found the... Uh, this is the steamer that we put on top of our fireplace. Well, we haven't this year. We, we haven't used it in a long time because we have a regular humidifier. So 
I put some water in it and then we'll see what this stove will do. So let's start firing it up. Well, wow, that kind of sucked. I was fooling around. I dropped my water all over my wood source. Gotta get some more wood source. Put some paper towels down in there. Try to fire it up. This, I'm gonna use this wet wood. I'm not gonna go chop more wood. It's only wet on the outside. Still got water in here? I got snow if I don't have water. I'll put some snow in there. Yeah, looks like it's going. to go a ways to find some snow that didn't have metal shavings in it so <laughs> there we go just in the early I mean I just started this thing up and it already seems like it's working better than the other the first two and it could be because i'm not in 30 mile an hour winds look at that look at it's got a bigger it's got a four and a half inch diameter opening on the top other than the four inch ones that uh, the other two have but that baby's look at that holy cow that's working better than i even thought dry some of this wood out by sticking it got a long enough shoot I can just kind of dry it out there wow that snow's melting already Must be getting plenty of airflow because I have that closed and that's the only airflow there is is right here at the bottom so that it uh, doesn't seem to be a problem I'm not sure if you can see the flames or not because I'm in a shady spot. Good thing that this is longer because I can dry this wood out in the chute. That thing is really going good. Better than the first two. There's no doubt about that. I think I accidentally stumbled upon a, the best rocket stove ever. Look at that. See if that snow's melted yet. Oh yeah, it's gone. Well, there's a little bit left in there. Lid's closed, boys. Look at how well it's working. I just checked, it's minus seven degrees out here. Minus seven. I'm no 
engineer. I admit, I got lucky. But from the looks of it, this is going to be my go-to. Yep, snow's completely melted now. See if we can get some steam to come out of here. Yep, it's already coming out. You see, that wood's dried out pretty quick. Looks like we're just, just about to a boil in there. This was ten and a half inches. This pipe is. 13 inches and we know this is uh, 15 that's 15 inches that's a four and a half inch pipe this was a uh, three by four inch pipe and this is a two by five inch pipe so Hey, you know what? It works for me. You can see that. It's too doggone cold out here, guys. It's so cold. I'm looking forward to those 40 plus degree days we're supposed to have next week. I thought it was going to be this week, but no. Looks like we just about got a boil. Hey guys, talk to you later.